Hello everyone, myself Dr. Santosh Chajed, M from PhD, Pharmaceutical Chemistry. In this video, I have described points which any beginner should focus first while learning organic chemistry. In this particular video, I have not described any term in detail. I have not described any point which is technical in the nature but this video is only a guideline for a beginner or anyone who is willing to learn organic chemistry that is how we start learning organic chemistry what is the scope of organic chemistry and how organic chemistry is a center for learning other subject in detail I have described other specialized branches which we can learn by understanding organic chemistry. We can apply organic chemistry in understanding those specialized branches. If you want to understand scope of organic chemistry, so if you close your eyes and again if you open up, Whatever you will see around is nothing but the chemicals. It may be some paints, dye, it may be computer parts what you are using now, it may be a mobile part what you are using now, maybe metal, non-metal, plastic or something like that. Maybe pharmaceutical drugs, vitamins, proteins, fertilizers, different cosmetic what we use like shampoos, soaps, perfumes, etc. They all are made up of chemicals. Even food what we eat is nothing but chemicals. It is rich in carbohydrate, protein, fats and so on. These are nothing but chemicals. So different fuels what we are using like diesel, petrol, they are nothing but chemicals. And different polymers what we see around us, what we use like paints, plastic, even papers, metals, they are uh, nothing but chemicals different uh, fabrics like synthetic fabrics nylon polyester rayon they are they all are nothing but the chemicals uh, even insect repellent and from the morning what first thing what we do is um, uh, brushing of our uh, uh, teeth that required to pest and brush that is nothing but uh, made up of uh, chemicals so anything around you what you observe what you see is nothing but the chemicals it could be a metal, it could be a plastic, it could be a polymer and so on. Even our body, every living what, uh, living thing what we are observing, it is again uh, consists of one or other chemicals and in order to become master in whatever uh, names I have written here, say for example, uh, synthetic fa fabrics, polymers, food chemistry and all, in order to become master in those, understanding of organic chemistry is very important. Understanding chemistry of uh, proteins, vitamins, cosmetic is very important. Unless and until we don't understand that, we cannot uh, become master in those. So now if we try to think products, what products I can prepare of using chemicals, maybe organic or inorganic. So I will say most of the product what we use involved either organic or inorganic chemistry even every living thing we came across is known to contain organic and inorganic material inside it so whatever hormones are there whatever proteins are there whatever endogenous uh, neurotransmitters are there which are there in our body maybe dna rna all are nothing but the chemical in the nature i will discuss few specialized branches where understanding of organic chemistry is very important and these branches are highly specialized and they are heart of most of the uh, industries where we do come across chemicals. Now, terms like drug kinetics, drug dynamics, drug stereochemistry, drug metabolism, we frequently heard and these are the parts of some something a specialized subject that is medicinal chemistry and pharmacology. So these concepts about the drug and cosmetics, uh, not directly cosmetic, but drug and uh, some uh, something what we 
use for sake of uh, uh, prevention uh, their kinetics means absorption distribution and uh, drug dynamics means how drug binds with their target proteins in the body or target receptor in the body drug theory chemistry means uh, understanding three dimensional nature of a drug i will give a simple example of cetirizine uh, anti secretory agent we use in case of cough and running nose and uh, not cough in cold in particularly in running nose so in that case there are two isomers available for cetirizine uh, and only one isomer is having anti secretory action so when we take say for example uh, whatever dose of cetirizine only l isoform or l isomer is having anti secretory action and other form is just a burden to the body so if we know this factor and we can separate out other isomer and we will exclusively use l cetirizine so that we will avoid undesired effect or toxic effect which may be due present due to the other uh, isomer now this understanding is only possible if we have good knowledge of organic chemistry now you will realize how organic chemistry is uh, useful in understanding drug and their behavior metabolism that is body whatever we eat body metabolize it so that it will become water soluble and it will become excreted out of the body via urine now when uh, body metabolize the drug means it converts drug from non polar to more polar so that it will become water soluble and it will become excreted out via urine now other subjects are there i have gave the name organic spectroscopy one can understand this is a applied branch of organic chemistry so spectroscopy uh, is a science where we analyze compounds maybe drug or some other compound it has got uh, application in almost all the industry maybe textile maybe uh, pharmaceutical maybe chemical maybe dye everywhere this branch is useful where we use radiations which we generate by using radiation source and these radiations interact with our uh, chemical compound and it absorb energy from the radiation and from this behavior we can analyze either their structure or we can perform quantitation that is in what quantity this particular compound is present in the pure form and so on so basically organic spectroscopy is a applied branch of chemistry which useful which is useful in analyzing the substances and another uh, uh, branch is there that is uh, it is uh, again a part of uh, analytical chemistry i must say where that is chromatography where we perform separation of the component so if we have a mixture of uh, more than two components are there and we want only one component so instead of doing uh, their uh, separation by some tedious method chromatography is uh, technique which is useful in separating this component so there are different forms column chromatography is there thin layer chromatography is there uh, now advanced technique like hplc is there which is useful in quantitation so separation of herbal herbals are very complicated substances so these materials contain more than one component and uh, their um, uh, useful uh, effect is maybe due to one or two component so in that case what we do is we try to isolate that component we try to separate that component from the others so that we will get a compound or a constituent of our interest and in that case chromatography column chromatography or flash chromatography is a method of choice for their separation now when we analyze these uh, uh, herbals or phytochemicals this is the, there is a separate branch that is phytochemistry again name itself is explanatory there is a chemistry of phytopharmaceuticals useful biologicals or even they got some uh, uses in cosmetic industry also for sake of increasing the aesthetic value color odor and something like that so understanding chemistry of constituent their uh, 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 different isomers present their Uh, structure their solubility their actions and so on their reactivity their uh, identification test uh, and authentication 
all you required is organic chemistry so in short if you want to understand the specialized branch if you want to become master in this specialized branch you must have a sound knowledge of organic chemistry which will help you in understanding resolving problems in different industries now i will just brief out these different methods of analysis which are available in context to organic chemistry so chromatography you already made mention this is a separation science where separation of the component based occur based upon their affinity for either a stationary phase or mobile phase these two phases are used over there or maybe partitioning between two liquids and concept of polarity and uh, partitioning affinity these are uh, some of we apply and that's why you have to have very good knowledge of organic chemistry in my coming video of electronegativity will you will get idea about the polarity how to determine polarity whether a particular bond is polar or non polar and then based upon that we can decide the solubility of compound in polar or non polar solvent and so on so this is what we have to have very good knowledge of chemistry then this particular branch will become easier for us now spectroscopy there are different branches depending upon which range of emr what we are using that is ultraviolet range uv spectroscopy infrared radiation that is infrared spectroscopy and radio frequency region of emr when we use the technique will be called as nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy i will not go much detail of this but uv is the one which useful in understanding different kinds of conjugated and conjugated system that is these are called as chromophore the part on the structure which is uh, contain which is known to contain pi electrons and lone pair of electrons they absorb uv radiations and these are called as chromophore chroma means color color producing and some of so he these points if you observe these points these are nothing but these are the points which we come across uh, in the chemistry so if we become familiar of these points the uh, concept like chromophore will become uh easier and then we can uh, apply uv or we can use or we can we can become a uh, master in uv spectroscopy similarly infrared radiations they are useful in understanding what different functional groups are present so different functional group absorb different uh, uh regions of ir and that's how they can be characterized so every bond it has got different kinds of stretching and bending vibrations and when these vibrations and their frequency become match with infrared radiation frequency they do absorb radiation and they become uh, appear in the infrared spectrum next is nuclear magnetic resonance this technique gives idea about what kind of a different nuclei are present in the compound maybe c13 or proton nmr so what it is done in this technique is sample is allowed to uh resonant in the uniform magnetic field by using strong magnet and based upon uh precisional frequency of nucleus because nucleus precise they spin in the magnetic field and their precisional frequency when become equal to the frequency of radiations which we pass through that nucleus nucleus absorb energy and literally we can find out how many number of those Uh, resonating nuclei are present in the compound and so on mass spectroscopy uh, spectrometry where we do not use radiations but we break the molecule in control conditions by using maybe sometime electron beam we use in the uh, spectrometer and we literally fragment molecule and we measure mass to charge ratio of those fragments now when we compile these fragments we get the Uh, molecular weight and molecular structure of the compound so this is how these techniques are useful and uh, understanding this technique you required knowledge of organic chemistry now we'll move ahead and uh, like how like how we we must begin or how one shall start understanding this particular subject that is organic chemistry uh, what are those points which one should uh, think to start reading because sometimes uh, it happens we get idea about the importance of the subject but uh, being a beginner we don't know what are those points uh, which i shall read first and what are those point which i read later on 
बिकॉज इवन इफ यू पुट इन टू गूगल और ऑन द इंटरनेट इन पब्लिक डोमेन लॉट्स ऑफ वीडियोज एंड डेटा इज अवेलेबल बट वी डोंट नो क्यूमिलेटिवली वॉट आर दोज पॉइंट विच बिगिनर शेल रीड इन दट एज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट और वॉट शेल बी द आइडियल सिक्वेंस फॉर द सेक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर सब्जेक्ट सो इन माई व्यूज आई ट्राई टू क्लासीफाई वॉट एवर पॉइंट्स आर देर or whatever uh, all the concepts are there in organic chemistry i try to classify them into four groups so i form uh, four groups of all the uh, points as per as the organic chemistry is concerned so in first point you will observe i have written there a classification of organic compound in second fundamental concepts in third electron movement in the bond this is very crucial and last one is stereochemistry so many other points are there but as a beginner we should start understanding this so when you start uh, understanding very first thing you must uh, try to read about the functional group different types of functional group that is uh, hydrocarbons uh, uh, carboxylic acid aldehyde amine and so on then that is a um, uh, beginning of organic chemistry then there are upac nomenclature different rules are there for naming them once we become familiar in naming there Uh, structure uh, become easier for us otherwise uh, literally it is difficult for us to memorize uh, structures of the long chain compound or even cyclic compound so uh, compounds are there in the form of a cycle some compounds are there in the form of a chain chain may be open branch and so on and cyclic structure again some are there which are known to contain only carbon and hydrogen they are called as homocyclic some are there which do contain hetero atoms like nitrogen and sulfur these are called as a heterocyclic and their understanding is very crucial unless and until we don't know uh, types of compounds or their classification it will become difficult for us to understand them now next is that is fundamental concept second group where you have to understand what is mean by chemical bond is what are the different kinds of bonds are there covalent ionic and so on and how bond become broken down in what manner that is homocyclic manner or heterocyclic manner and something is there in the course of reaction some intermediates are formed which are unstable different types of reaction intermediates are there like carbocation carbenion nitrines carbenes and so on and then basic types of reagents i am not saying there are specific reagent but nucleophilic reagent nu minus electrophilic reagent uh, e plus and free radicals and so on so understanding their chemistry is important when we become familiar with these that is reaction intermediate and uh, reagents we become uh, master in understanding uh, reaction and their mechanism now how electron move in the bond that will decide uh, most of the thing uh, right from the stability to uh, conversion from one form to another and so on so different uh, I, i i call them as electronic concept uh, due to movement of electron in the bond i categorize them into three that is electronegativity inductive effect resonance effect hyperconjugation totalism and their applications in deciding stability reactivity sense of acids sense of base and so on so this is the third class i must say of a concept uh, which uh, beginner shall learn and later they must switch understanding to three dimensional uh, chemistry that is stereochemistry where we learn the 3d structures of compound maybe isomers phenomena of isomerism configuration conformers means how elements orient in the space in three dimensions that is called as the configuration and due to rotation of elements around a single bond they do form different conformers and uh, their understanding is important optical activity racemic mixture racemic resolution uh, we, we already discussed about the uh, cetrizin in the beginning of this video so one will understand importance of stereochemistry in chemistry so exactly uh, i have um, uh, focus i have tried to uh, highlight uh, classification of organic compounds in a very simple manner that is you can uh, group them under two headings that is cyclic and acyclic 
name itself is explanatory some compounds are there which are cyclic in the nature some compounds are there which are acyclic in the nature which are not there in the form of a cyclic structure they are there in the form of a uh, open chain that chain could be a branched it could be a straight chain so a cyclic compound can be branched or open chain or something like that which i not made mention because it's too simple then cyclic structure i already made mention they depending upon nature of elements they do contain if only carbon and hydrogen is there that particular cyclic structure is called as homocyclic and in addition to carbon and hydrogen if cyclic structure known to contain in its the in its ring uh, hetero atom like nitrogen sulfur or oxygen that particular cyclic structure is called as heterocyclic compound now something is there which is very important that is aromatic compounds these are cyclic compound and uh, earlier name aromatic is given based upon uh, the aroma they do possess and as this compound known to exhibit aroma earlier uh, people used to call them as aromatic compound but later on uh, they went into details and those compounds which contains the uh, cyclic structure alternate Uh, pi bonds and which obeys huckel rule so cyclic planar and which obeys huckel rule of aromaticity are called as aromatic compound so that's all about the uh, uh, introduction to organic chemistry and guide uh, guideline to organic chemistry rather and i try to uh, give brief information about scope of organic chemistry how everything around us is uh, 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 chemistry we are surrounded by different kinds of chemicals and understanding them we require knowledge of chemistry then i try to uh, for give uh, light on i try to throw light on some specialized branches of chemistry so that uh, understanding chemistry will make you master in those branches and these are rather big industries where we are working and they use uh, Uh, organic chemistry or applied organic chemistry and then i try to classify all the points uh, which a beginner shall uh, learn so i group on uh, those points into a four and in uh, I, i i i hope if you uh, learn that in that sequence organic chemistry will become easier for you that's all about the first video i will stop here thank you